Hey, I'm Dia, and this is episode 8. So this episode, we are going to find the pseudo-focus of the function f of x equals e to the power of x. And like always, we'll be using the 5-step rule and contextualize these steps along the way. Oh, and by the way, this is another short episode, so let's start the speedrun timer. Let's start with step 1. Find f prime, f prime prime, and f triple prime. Funny that we have to take the derivative of e to the x thrice, because it's still e to the x no matter how many times you prime this guy. So it's e to the x, e to the x, and e to the x. Step 2. Find 3f prime, f prime prime squared equals f triple prime times f prime squared plus 1. Plugging these f's, we get 3 e to the x times e to the x squared equals e to the x times e to the x squared plus 1. Now, let me inform you that we're going to deal with exponent algebra in this video, so taking care of the squares from both hand sides, we get e to the power 2x and e to the 2x. Now, we multiply the left e to the 2x by the other factors e to the 2x times e to the x is just e to the 3x, so the left becomes 3e to the 3x. After that, we multiply the right-hand side factors, where these become e to the 3x plus e to the x. Following that, we transpose the right e to the 3x to the left, where they subtract to 2e to the 3x. Next, we divide both sides by e to the x, where the equation becomes 2e to the 2x equals 1. Alright, we just need x on the left, so we divide 2 first, and then we convert this into a natural log expression, where it becomes 2x equals ln 1 half. We divide another 2, so it becomes x equals 1 half ln 1 half. And no, no plus minuses, which makes one solution for step 2. So overall, there exists a point on e to the x with this x value where we draw a normal line through it. And then at some point in this line lies the pseudo-focus. To find that point, we have to do step 3, where the equation is x minus f prime cubed plus f prime over f prime prime. Doing the f's, we have x minus e to the 3x plus e to the x all over e to the x. Immediately, we can divide the fraction so they become e to the 2x plus 1. The minus applies to both terms, so it's x minus e to the 2x minus 1. Alright, it may be tempting to unsub the x on e to the 2x, but we already have a value of e to the 2x when we were doing step 2, which is 1 half. The 1 half and the 1 combine to 3 halves. There's nothing else to do here, so our answer is 1 half ln 1 half minus 3 halves. Or ln 1 half minus 3 all over 2 if you're a fractionist. This value here is the x coordinate of the point that resides on that normal line we drew. To find the y value, we do step 4, where the equation is f plus f prime squared plus 1 over f prime prime. Again, doing the f's, we have e to the x plus e to the 2x plus 1 over e to the x. There are many ways we can approach this expression, but I'll start with then subbing the e to the 2x to its value 1 half, so the numerator becomes 3 halves. Now, we're left with e to the x's. We can gather the value of e to the x by its relation to e to the 2x where we square root the value of e to 2x to get the value of e to x, which is square root of 2 over 2. This makes the expression square root of 2 over 2 plus 3 halves over square root of 2 over 2. Now we simplify. Let's first get rid of the canceling 2s. Then we multiply the second term by root 2 to have a common denominator. Now. 3 root 2 and root 2 become 4 root 2, and the 4 divides by 2, making our y-coordinate of that point 
to root 2. Cool. Now we combine those step 3 and 4 values into a coordinate where we have ln 1 half minus 3 halves and 2 root 2. This here is our step 5 answer, which is a point on the normal line we mentioned. Lastly, when we draw every normal line on e to the x, we can confirm that this point is the pseudofocus. Wow, that was quick. e to the x is such a cool function, don't you think? We don't have to deal with the power rule or disgusting derivatives, which is why this video is, is so short and delayed. The reason episode 7 took me a week is because I have decided to change my video uploads to one a week due to school resuming and that I work too much in each episode. Lastly, I really need some more free time for myself as well as some time to make improvements on my videos. So that's that. See ya guys.